testing. <clears throat> Audio check. All right. Let's see. We gotta enable this so people can hear. Hey, Barrow Claw, how are you doing? Could you do me a favor and let me know if you can hear the background music and if I sound clean or do I sound like a robot? Just doing a quick sound check before we start. Hello, Peter Apple. Does everything sound good? Can you guys hear the piano music from the game? I think it should be good, but I'll take a little bit of feedback. Both are crystal clear. Okay, good. Hello, Graceless Gaming. All right, we're going to get started straight to the point. This is an RPG Maker MV First Impressions video. It is called The Chains That Bound Me, as you can see on the screen. And there's a link in the description to um, the itch page for this game. It has a press kit, it, it has a Kickstarter, and a Discord right now. So um, the guy um, who's making this game has paid me to do a first impression on it. So we'll be looking at this game for an hour or so. There's a link to all of uh, the dev's information inside the itch page. It's very conveniently, so I could link his itch page, and you see Twitter, Kickstarter, Discord, um, the press kit, and all the other stuff about the game. And you guys could download it yourself, too. So all that information is there. Thank you, Yo Bob, for sponsoring this video. And let's get started on the chains that bound me. I, I put a link in the Discord for people to see that I'm live, and I'll keep the chat open so that I can see um, your guys' uh, your chitty chats. Cool, so let's start a new game. Airy Day Seals home. Press space to continue. Okay. Aradarios. Da, da, da. This is RPG Maker MV Graceless Gaming. Appear to be in some auto run. Interesting little tile set and character art. We got a red potion. Eridarios. Minus one red potion. Plus one pickaxe. Was that supposed to be plus one red potion? Because it looked like we lost a red potion. Plus one Kel? K E L? Plus one miner's work gloves. Dot dot dot. I guess that's his bed. I would suggest making little text pop ups instead of, uh, I mean, that's kind of vague. Instead of doing a show text here, just do like a little box that, that pops up that says plus one of whatever it is and have it fade away. There's plugins for that. But other than that, I like the sound effect that's associated with it. To open the menu, press E or M. E. Okay, so we have a custom menu here. That's kind of cool. Items, a deep bag where your items are stored. For some reason, um, the descriptions have all the letters capitalized except for R. I don't know, know why that has to be a thing. Maybe just because it looks better. Customize your character, load saved game. Item, weapon, pickaxe. It's a, it's a shame we're using the default looking icon set because it's kind of gross in my opinion but the menu looks really nice the sound effects are cool I mean that's a default sound effect but the ones that have been customized are acceptable it's very impactful but uh, it's not bad one. Tax inspector shows up. I like how there's huge busts. He's got like this armband on, kind of reminds me of like uh, things I don't want to say or it's going to get me demonetized. Get on your knees. Bam. 
okay, all right, graphic violence. The sprites are simple, but I actually really like them. Clean up this blood. I really do like the sprites. There's, they're not like, I wouldn't be like amazing sprites, but they fit and I like the theme and the style. Interesting tile set. Hmm. I feel like the opening has been good. It's not like uh, blocks and blocks of scrolling text. That's really nice. Anthony! Anthony, you win? Hmm. Oh, we have an option here. We can knock, we can listen, we can enter or leave. Let's just listen for a second. Dun, dun, dun. I can't hear anything. Anthony! And let's knock again. Did he leave without me? Well, let's try to enter. Is it locked? Anthony! No, he's not here. He left without me? Got a cardboard. Plus one bread. It's stale. It's yesterday's paper. Let's read it. 3,045. Okay. It's been five years since Grandee Lyric rose to the throne. The people are happy and major changes has been made, have been made within these walls. The paper's torn. Anthony's letter to Amelia. Well, let's read it. How's the inner city? I know I can't be there with you, but I'm doing fine here. I love it here. Don't worry about me. I, he stopped writing. He went to work without his miner's cap. Nothing. Okay. Well, we already read it. So. Might I suggest instead of a... Uh... Well, you know, that's really up to you. But uh, what I was going to say is um, default to something. Because right now with no default, you press enter and it doesn't give you an option until you press up or down. That's kind of like, maybe you don't want the person to accidentally press something. In, in decisions that really matter, you can take off the defaulting so that someone doesn't spam through it. But in, in options that don't really matter that much, you might want to just default to something to save the player for that one button press. Not a big deal, though. Wake up! Wake up! Honey, please wake up! I don't think he's going to wake up. I better go talk to her. That hole in his head leads me to believe that he's not going to wake up. Dad's watch says 7.05. I still have time. Can we go in 4.34? Oh, this is our house. And that's a save file. Okay. It's a save crystal. I like it. Simple. It, it led me to believe that's what it was, and it actually was that. So, wife? Is that our wife? Let's knock. Hmm. Enter. Did you come to take me away? Is my payment not enough for you? No, you remember Anthony? Your friend? Whose wife is this? It just says wife. Honey, is that you? You came back to me. Isn't this nice? We're happy family once again. You, me, and Amelia? I'm not your husband. Don't be silly. Oh, I know. You're hungry. I made something for you. So she's having like a psychotic episode or something. Whose wife, though? Whatever happened to Amelia? Oh, wait, it's her. Whatever happened to Amelia? You were out with her when you went to the mines. Did she come back alive? We got a golden wheat bread. Honey, it's not done yet. Minus one golden wheat bread. Happy, happy, happy. Golden wheat. It'll be useful. She won't know the difference if I swap it for bread. Uh, I don't know. Let's just leave it. I don't want to take advantage of this lady. She seems like she's having a hard enough time. My diary? Oh, it's her diary. You know what? I'm not going to... You know what? I mean, it's, I'm interested in her story, but there's also the moral dilemma of doing it. Valentina, you home? Let's listen for a second. I can't 
can't hear anything, then let's not go. Maybe at the mines I'll find her there. Let's just go in and raid the place. Wasn't this plus one Gritch toy? I don't believe this. She still kept this toy. How long ago has it been? Two years? Minus one Gritch toy? Yeah, two years since I came here. Oh, he puts it back. Right. Eliana. I've changed so much. He's looking in the mirror. Okay, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing on the table. Okay, nothing there. Oh, plus one Kel. Found her stash. Uh, let's put it back. What is Kel? Money? Let me see. Kel. Money. Yep. He maybe chose the blank one when using choice event. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand why it's doing that. I'm saying if that was by choice, then, no pun intended, then uh, like, that that's a good option for when you're giving a, a choice that you don't want to, like there's a lot of text and there's just a random choice in the middle. And it could, it was, it's like, especially if it's important, you don't want the player to select one or the other without like, Realizing it, it, it's a, 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 a important choice. Come on, Brain, work with me. Let's listen to the store. I'll wait for you. Okay. Hello? Mark, is that you? Are we Mark or not Mark? Is that you, Mark? You came back to me? I've waited for you. This is the same, this is a different idea. I'm sorry, I didn't mean what I said before. You don't have to say anything, I understand. I wasn't good to you. I didn't know you liked uh, what you liked, but if you stay, I'll promise I'll be good. Are all of the ladies crazy here? Mark? Why are you so shy? Let me touch your face. Are they blind? Nothing I can use. A scrap metal. The cardboard is old. A picture of her and her husband. He looks like the tax inspector. Nothing useful. Nothing here. Only clothes in here. Are you mad at me? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll wait for you. This is so bizarre. Something you find fancy? Uh, alcohol? How much for the alcohol? <laughs> How much? You're giving me money? Money doesn't fill my stomach. Give me something that I need. Stay put, I'll find you something. Go on, find me something. That's what I said. Maybe he wants that golden meat bread. What do I do if they drag me and shoot me? I'll jump in this hole. That's the only safe place. So we live in... This is some sort of, like, dystopian future, apparently. Go away! We'll both be killed! I just want to know what happened. He was shot! That's it! Got a cotton. It looks like a door, but it's a camel. Oh wait, this is an alley. Got an empty bottle. Nothing here. I do like how I didn't realize this was like a, a place that we can walk in until I went over here. I like the use of like this type of tile where you can walk behind it. So it's really cool. The fog is pretty cool too. The shadows over this building I like. Wake up! Wake up! Sarah, he was shot. No! How could you say that? He's still alive! I'm sorry, you should say your goodbyes quickly before the guard makes quick work of you. Stop! Get away from me! I don't want you here! Iridaeus, it's alright. I appreciate the thought. Did you see Anthony go to the mines? No. All right, I'll look for him there. Wait, you think you can get me a drink? Now? Yeah, not for me, but for her. I can make it look like this is all a dream for her. Not a good idea, even if she's your sister. I just need a bottle, just enough so she can walk away from her husband. There might be another corpse soon if she doesn't walk away. Just one time I'll do this. I don't want to see her like she was before. Thanks. All right, so let's get the alcohol from that guy. In order to get the alcohol from that guy, he wants food. In order to get food, there's a lady who's cooking like some golden bread that we could have lifted. 
but I chose not to, but you know, but now I think we have to for the greater good. Yeah, her. All right, let's take the golden bread. Swap for bread. Okay, got the golden wheat bread. Yada yada, she'll be all right. Still something. Now this guy might be happy with it. Give the golden wheat bread. I have something for you. Now we're talking. What do you have? Golden wheat bread. Jesus, how in the world did you get that? Let's cut the small talk. I want all the red potion and the alcohol. Whoa, 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 you're asking for a bit too much. That bread, what, maybe worth a red potion? But wait, 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 don't break it in half. Fine, take it. If you took another bite, I would have killed you. Jesus, over a bread. Okay. So we got a potion and the alcohol. Let's give the alcohol. You have it? Here, give him the alcohol. Yeah. This will do. Thanks. The next hardest thing is throwing her husband into that hole over there. Keep the streets clean or else more bodies are on the ground. It's a stupid way to keep us in check. Keep your head down. It doesn't have to be you. I'm glad you're the spearhead of our fr frustration. You mean frustration. Unless he's just saying frustration as a speech impediment or like the way he said, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, if I see Anthony, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll see you at the mines. Okay. This guy, a soldier. Poor little old Sarah. I'll take her. Hey! Get back to work. Yeah. Shut up! save it but you can't load it what's the, what's the meaning of this hold on hold on I clearly saved it oh oh there's no I, I thought that was something else let's continue all right let's continue ah uh, well I mean we read everything we know what we have to do right we have to go in here um, I'm sure I missed a lot of let me just enter yada 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 now that I know that you can just get shot in the face. Hey Shannon, I'm Stalin, how you doing? Y'all game dev? I mean, I'm a game dev, but I'm not the dev of this game. I'm just, I'm just playing this game. Link's in the description if you want to play it and to like all the other things is in the itch page. So far is it good? It looks like, you know, it is it is better than average, I would say, so far. Uh, not a huge fan of just getting shot in the face instead of dying. Um, but if that's the way the dev wants the game to be played, you know, that's, that's how it is. So we got the wheat bread, we talked to this fool, we trade him the wheat bread for the alcohol and the potion, yada 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 yada, give me the stuff. I already read it, that's why I'm scamming through it. Because I've already just read it and then got shot in the face. I just I just read it all, so I'm not I'm gonna read everything if I haven't already just read it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go over here, give him the alcohol and something something, she's freaking out. So you have to talk to her first, maybe? Yep, blah, blah, blah. Another thing is I talk to the other guy, he disappears. I'm missing a couple items from raiding all the houses, which I don't really care to go back and do. Okay, here's gonna give him the alcohol, and that gets her to deal with her issues for now. They throw the body in the hole, and uh, we don't talk to the guard in the bottom left, or he shoots us in the face. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get a couple of items that I missed. Like this guy, he gave me an item, right? Something, something. No, he didn't, but this gave me cotton. And then there was one up item over here. Okay. And I think now since we went through that slew of text twice, I'm gonna go back and save it. Very satisfying little cling. And we'll go north. We'll go up this way. The artwork, the artwork is interesting and different, and I like it. It's just like a dystopian future type of game. It's a very visual novel, though, with the large busts and heavy text. Damn, I got here too late. It'll be hard to make my quota today. I need to clock in. Yeah, that guard was just like... Hey, bam! Shot me in the face. Like, like, if the game's idea was to instill fear of that sprite, they did a good job of it. Because I don't want to talk to any of the guards. Because I feel like they'll just shoot me in the face. Let's listen. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, that's a... That can be frustrating if it's too much of it, though. All right, uh, we listen. Let's knock on the door. Is anybody? Here? Nope, no response. Let's just enter. Nothing useful here. Because I, I mean, the story is good so far, but it's never fun to replay through this, a large chunk of dialogue for me. Like, because I already know it's like the part. The good thing of, about the story is like revealing it and learning about it, and but like. Going through it twice isn't fun. So the whole getting game over is just stupid to me. It's a pickaxe. It's been here for a while. She's staring down the hole. Let's ask about it. I'm looking for worker 10. I'm not a guard. Right, right. I, I'm looking for a friend. Right, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone like you to approach me. Like friends, I wouldn't be, and I shouldn't. If you haven't seen him, I'll look somewhere else. Well, wait, you don't know me, but I know you. You're Aradeos, Theos. That makes it easier for me. Have you seen Anthony? No, I only saw him yesterday when you were heading to the mines. All right. But wait, what is it? Can you hear it? The bottom of this hole? I hear a rail cart. Ominous. It's not my imagination, then. I think something is living down there. It's the wind. It always vibrates the metal. No, 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 no. I can hear the dead bodies moving. Okay, all right. There are voices screaming and the sounds of something ripping. Something is living down there. It's nothing. I have to go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen. It's been like this since last week. I can't hear the ripping sound anymore. Time I hear the bodies falling into this hole, the sound comes up again, and the screams come up. And when it's over, everything turns quiet. You have to believe me. Something is living down there. Uh, I believe you. C can you come tomorrow? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, God. It's a horror game. It's a stack of planks. The owner, pro the owner is probably dead. It's common to see these laying around. Oh no. Oh no. Can I just save it? I don't want to talk to these guards. Is this a shop? Give me your minor number. Ariadios 434. <laughs> Give me one kill. Get lost. I knew it. Talking to these guards was going to be a bad idea. And here's the thing. You want to talk to them again because they just robbed you, right? They'll shoot you in the face. They'll just shoot you in the face. And that's game over. Oh, here's a save file. 
I just want to confirm that if I talk to the guard again, he'll shoot me in the face, or will like something else happen? I just saved it, so whatever. Get lost. I don't like your face. Get back to work. Okay. At least they didn't shoot me in the face. Thank you, guards. Thank you. Aria Deos. No, why? It's how we'll all die. There's more of us than them. Next time we'll see each other. Assume I'm not a part of this. Not even if you were on the guard, with a gun to your head, I won't save you. You're nothing but a coward. So that guy's trying to do like an uprising or something. You've missed your payment. I, I have it. I wanted it yesterday. No, 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 no. Take him. No, 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 no. I have it. I have it. Here it is. The money. Well, wait. Wait. Next! Let's just leave the body there. Slumped up against the wall? Jeez, this game. I don't have time to deal with you. You're not going anywhere until, until I see a dance from you. I have to go to work. No, you don't. Now dance! Uh, let's wait in line, I guess. Unless we just want to get shot. Minor number! Scott, minor number 332, on time. Your quota is five iron, next. So it's like a slave encampment in some dystopian future. Beth, minor number 658, on time. Your quota is five iron, next. Jenny, mining number 470. On time, your quote is 5 iron. Next. I just noticed we have an HP bar in the top right. I didn't even notice that. Miner number 434, Eredeos. You're a minute late. Your quota is 10 iron and a late payment fee of 10 kel. Paid at the, paid at the other station. What? That's ridiculous. Take that dead body out. Oh, I obtained one dead miner. Be sure to drop him in the hole. Perfect. Perfect. <coughs> Stupid girl. It's just kicking her. <coughs> Got a red potion. Plus one dead fighter. <laughs> this is a sickening scenario. It is. Rebecca! William! I told you to stay home! I wanted to help you. You're going to die out here. You have to go back home. Oh! Uh, Rebecca, are you okay? Come on, William, let's go! Wait. What is this kid doing? I'm looking for my friend. You see a guy with a scar on his cheek? just disappears he, he becomes a red potion I, that's confusing what's up with that drops coal you seen a guy with a scar on his cheek no all right so we owe 10 kel we have zero and 10 iron we have none Is this the same creepy chick? Are you collecting scraps too? No, I'm looking for my friend. What does he look like? Same size as me, carries a bag and has a scar on his cheek. I haven't seen him around. That's fine. Do you need help? I don't have anything to give. Oh, if you help me, I can help you. I'm collecting scraps for money. Hmm. Maybe three is enough, then I can help you. Scraps? You mean the scrap metals? Yeah, those. I'll see what I can do. All right, I'll be here. So we're supposed to throw a dead miner down, right? Let's toss him and listen. Hey, J. 
Jay, how you doing? He's sitting on a potion. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, Ahmed, Yara, Veroclaw, Nesty, Video Wizard, everybody who, who joined. How's it going? Minus one dead miner, I guess. We threw the dead miner down the hole. Wait, we should listen now. The smell is horrible. We're supposed to just listen, right? We're supposed to hear something, but I don't think that's part of it. So we're gonna go in the mine, right? Did I save it? No longer encumbered by a dead body. Is there a fight taking place right here? Is that a guard? Where is it? Where's my iron? Poor girl. Should we tell him? No, give it a few more minutes. I want to be the hero. I don't think she'll live another minute. We'll see. Anthony's probably at the shaft. I'll check there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? You blind? What's going on here? You blind? So the guard stole one of his iron, and he thinks that she did it. Probably that's what's going on. I don't want any trouble. Please. I'm only asking you about a friend. He has a scar on his face. Have you seen him? No, 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 no. All right, all right. Get rid of this. So high sprung. We've got a scrap metal. We just need two more. We've got a second. Problem's empty, though. What about right here? If I talk to the guards from behind, are they gonna freak out and shoot me in the face? How long do you think it'll take? Not long. Is she your type? Oh yeah. Where are you going? Wait, sparkles? Oh, I'm supposed to mine 10 iron, right? To not get shot. Hey Jacob, how you doing? Lever's missing from the shaft. Crazy miners just ripped it off. Barrel's empty. I don't think we can go this way any further. Over the end. Can we go in this room? Miner number 695, Caroline. You've met your five iron quota. Seven kill. It's lower than last time. Minor number 834, Grace. Your five iron quota has been met. Seven kill. Seven kill is less than last time. Do you have a problem? No. Okay. So we're working for like slave wages or something. Feels real life, bro. Whatever it is. I, I've always looked at you from far away. You're so cool, I just thought maybe... Find another guy. Right, I guess you and Valentina are close. Someone like me. That must be a generator or something. Aradeos. I thought we were told to not be inconspicuous. It's inconspicuous. Inconspicuous. Now the lever in the shaft is missing. Inconspicuous? I think. Missing lever? The guards were talking about it. Some people are still down in the mines and they haven't got back up since yesterday. Do you know what's going on? No. Is this part of Valentina's? Talk to her. So I don't know who Valentina is yet. I guess that's my wife or girlfriend. We'll look for another mount. Another worker mined this place clean. Okay, can we go to the right? Oh, here we can. Is this the next piece of... No, that's probably iron. We have to get 10 because we were a minute late. And we have to have 10 cal. Which I don't see happening. Y yeah? I'm looking for my friend. The guy that's always with you? Yeah, Anthony. Have you seen him? No, I haven't even seen you this morning. Alright. Wait, wait, wait a minute. A Aradios, right? Yeah. Did Valentina do something with the shaft? Giggity? I don't know. Talk to her. Right. 
that a sparkle I saw? No, that's like a water drip or something. What's going on over here? What are we doing? Shh, stay calm. They'll notice you. We need to get back to work. It's already hard enough for me. I found a copper. What? It's not only just iron in this place. There's copper too. How did you get it? Well, I fell and my pickaxe fell next to me, but it hit a mound. I saw the golden orange that people used to talk about. And what do you know? I just kept digging. And bam, copper. They weren't kidding about how tough it is to find it. It's enough for us to pay both of our tax fees. Yeah, what luck. Steal it or walk away? Oh, come on. You gotta walk away. Sir, here's the report from yesterday. We passed the miners about it this morning. The lever hasn't shown up after the inspector's shown example to the public. We suspect that there's an uprising and that the missing lever is a sign of dissatisfaction among the workers. Taking this lever off must have been a lot of work for them, especially when they want this shaft to be inoperable. Sir, I... They had a lot of time taking this off, seeing that the metal is ripped from the bottom. They didn't even bother unscrewing the box to remove the lever. That's... Tell your inspector that if, the, if this uprising gains more momentum, I will show him a, a spectacle example to the public. He'll be the first, and you'll be next. Do I make myself clear? Sir! Valentina, another problem she likes to add. Anthony better be with her. What happened to my sprite? I think there's a bug here. My sprite just turns invisible. Plus one iron. The barrel's empty. I'll look for another mound. You heard it too? Heard what? There was a gunfire coming from the bottom of the shaft yesterday. No, I didn't hear it. Maybe it's the ringing in my ear. My hearing was never good. Okay. No reason to go any further. Okay, yeah, let's not get shot in the face. Well, if that's the end of this mine... I definitely don't have my quota. Hmm. What? Wait. H help, please, help. Uh, let's give him a potion. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, plus 10 experience. Hey, we leveled up. So he's got some kind of wound. We leveled up. Where are you, Anthony? Oh, okay. We can't go out yet. I want to go save it, though. Like, we can't save from the menu. That sucks. Because we did, like, a bunch of stuff in here. Valentina! Oh, I guess the left path opened up once we went to the right path. And Anthony's not with her. Say. Oh, we can just walk away. Right, we're not going to do very well because we're not stealing and stuff. Aradeos, you heard about the shaft, right? The lever's missing, yeah. Some people are still down there. Rumors are already spreading about how Valentina's ordered us to remove that lever. Don't believe in those rumors. Someone else was put up to this, and it could be one of us. Help me find him. No, I'm tired of being dragged along. I don't know what she sees in you. You're just a coward. I guess I'm a better right-hand man than you could ever be. Get shot. You'll be the first when your plan goes wrong. Walk away before I regret something. Okay, so... I'm not very liked by these, uh... Rebels. When this is over, I'm going to live in the inner city. What about you? I'm going to stay here. Everyone wants to go up there, but no one wants to stay. I can make this place better. I have too many bad memories. That's okay. Come back when you're ready. Everything will change. Thanks. Aradeos. Valentina's up ahead if you're looking for her. Val, we need to talk. Good. I was about to look for you. Auto run here. Q 
You might need to steal that copper, but then again, choices are not choices. I'm not a fan of forced choices. Yeah. Did you hear? I've hit a stash near the mound just outside the cave. Apparently she's set for the next tax collection. I don't believe you. I'll show you. Hey! Sounds fun. So what, they're gonna go steal that copper thing? What a roundabout way to talk. You know why, I don't take chances. I'll cut to the chase. You seen Anthony? I haven't seen him today. Damn. Aridaeus, I need you to be at the lower district in two days. It's time. No. You're already a part of this. When this goes off, you either join me or we all die together. The second choice sounds better. What? How come I can't roleplay the lead the character? Like, this is stupid. Unbelievable. You'll watch us die. You'll watch your friends die. Does people dying in front of you mean nothing? You don't know what death is. What we have here, it's a luxury. This guy is delusional. I'm playing a delusional character. How is this a luxury? You're going around trying to find your friend, but you don't even realize what happened to him? Anthony's dead! Ugh. You crossed too many lines, Val. As many as I have to make until you realize what's going on within this city. Find somebody else. I'm not your puppet. There's no decision for you. You'll be at the plaza in two days. Apparently, that sums up the game so far. I noticed you were late. I can only spare you one iron. I hope you find Anthony, and good luck on meeting your quota. Damn her. We got one iron. Plus one iron. What am I going to do? I haven't even collected any for today's quota. draft here. This wasn't here yesterday. Can we get in here? What's going on? So we're playing a character who's like in denial of like the clear and obvious totalitarian dictatorship that dystopian future that we're living in. Um, and there's like a unionization or an uprising or some sort of rebel group force thing that's that's coming together, but we're playing a character, um, well, the character's playing itself, but we are moving it around. We need, I think, one more scrap. But we are unable to, like, make decisions, really. We're more or less just have to go throughout the game and see the story play out. It, it sort of feels like I'm just reading a book, more or less, than playing a game. It feels a little... I mean, it feels like I'm just reading 1984, really, like, uh, it feels like I'm just reading 1984 out of a book. I finished my quota, there's a collection station where I get, can get paid. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I haven't seen any, like, play the game moments yet. The story is good, I'm gonna give it that. It said we finished our quota, but did we? Um, I only have two scrap metal. I only have six iron, and they said I was late, so I needed ten iron, but I didn't see any more iron. Does it respawn? Do I just have to walk back and get more? to steal this copper and I can't save it so like the things I the choices I make are 
That was cool though. There was a gameplay element. That was the first one I seen. And I'm not a big fan of key input uh, or timed inputs, but it is a gameplay element and it is a mechanic. So that was the first gameplay mechanic that I really seen. So I finished my quota. There's a collection place where I can get paid. But none of these spots do anything. This says the same thing. This guy says they dropped our pay, yada yada. So there's nothing I can do in there. Isn't that the station where you get paid? Did I, is the game bugged or am I missing something? I mean, usually in this situation, I'm missing something. stuck though. Now I'm just backtracking. I've already talked to everything. Oh wait, there's something. It wasn't sparkling, it was just... Oh, that was copper. Okay. Talk to the guard outside the station. that have things that you can investigate that aren't like completely obvious. So now I'm, I'm going through just checking every possible spot. Do I have to steal from this guy? Got his iron. He's probably gonna get shot now, that's great. I feel great about my moral decisions in this game. Uh, is copper worth more than iron in this game? Yes. Just like in real life, I suppose. Um, there, there were two guards out here. But like... I've done this three times in here now, I know it's not this. Alright, let's... I'm, I'm afraid to talk to the guards. They're just gonna shoot me in the face and then I game over and I have to just play through the same thing I just did. Uh, I don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, exactly. So we can't go to this. This is like where the general's at. Well, iron is stronger than copper, but being stronger doesn't mean it's worth more. I mean, the reason why copper's worth more is because it's a better conductor than iron. It's a more malleable material, and it's much more conductive of electricity. So, because we have to transport electricity, copper is worth a lot more. I don't know um, exactly how much. I did, uh, I used to work at a recycling center a long, long time ago, and we bought and sold all kinds of metal. So at the time, I'm sure it's much different now, at the time though, um, copper, which there were several grades of it, but it was generally like lots of money, like a dollar fifty to two fifties, and sometimes even up to three dollars a pound, depending on what type, uh, how clean it was, if it was patinaed or if it was shiny. Or... So it's you're you're talking dollars a pound for copper, and you're talking pennies a pound for for iron. Oh, this guy says something. I want to see you. Talk to Valentina. I have nothing for you. Wait, here. Red potion. You weren't aware of it, but you saved my life. Now that you're with Valentina, I've joined too. Stay in your home. It's safer than playing hero. No, I was a dead man before. I chose to be a dead man now. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. I didn't see anything. Uh, I already know. It's you. It's making you jump. I saw it. You have to tell Valentina. It, it, I just, uh, it just, you have to tell her. What did you see? Tell her, tell her, tell her. Tell her what? Just tell her, tell her, tell her. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, so there's the third scrap. Hey, we got the third scrap medal. You can trade that one girl. Or I don't even know what. She wanted three scrap. We have that. Oh, gosh. Okay, we have three scrap metal, three cotton. We have alcohol potion. We needed ten iron, and we have seven. We didn't even need copper, but we have three. So, I wish there was a save point right here. Why can't I not go back out? Like, am I forced to just find all of the spots for, for 10 iron? I'm getting bored in here, to tell you the truth. This is like I'm just going back and forth, looking at all the spots, trying to find everything. It's very claustrophobic. Maybe nine iron? Valentina said she would spare one. Right, and then she dropped one on the ground when this cutscene ended, so she already gave us that one. So there's like three more. Gosh, am I... What am I missing, man? Like, everybody's quota seems to be five, but for me it's ten, because I was a minute late or something. Where's Valentina? She was to the left, all the way to the left, and then a cutscene happened, and then she just disappeared. She was standing right here, and we talked to her, yada, yada, yada. She moved, there was two guards here. The guard, she said something about there was a stash. The two guards went to go rob a miner of their stash, and then she started talking about the uprising thing and be somewhere in two days, and then um, the guy's like, no, I don't want to be a rebel, and then she's like, you don't have a choice. You're already in this something, something. She says, I, I can only spare one iron. The cutscene fades to black, she, and then it comes back, and she's gone, and there's one iron right here, which I already picked up. Can you trade the three scrap metal for three iron, Lucas? Um, I don't know, because it won't let me go out. The girl who trades something for three scrap is outside of this mine. Like, she is literally right outside the mine. I thought that, I thought that too. And I was like, okay, I'll trade the three scrap. But I can't leave the mine. It doesn't let me leave the mine until I, I finish my quota. There's a collection station where I can get paid. So the collection station, which I believe to be this, I've went in here five times already and talked to everything in there a bunch of times. So that would, and I don't see any other guards. The other place where the guards are, it keeps telling me I don't want to go this direction. Um, and probably because they'll shoot you right in the face game over and you have to do this whole section again. There needs to be a save point right here, and it should probably let you leave to turn in those scrap, unless it's vital that it doesn't, like it's part of the gameplay or something. Which I don't know. It, it, it actually, I, I was, to be honest, I've been entertained up until about five minutes ago when I felt like this part has just locked me in this area. I don't know what to do, and I'm, I'm just, I'm checking everything multiple times. It's very frustrating, and it feels like I'm reading, a, you know, a dystopian novel instead of playing an actual game. The only gameplay elements that I've seen so far are when you try to steal, I guess forcefully so, even though it presents you the option, you have to press like a combination of three keys. What about this guy? Why didn't anyone come up from the shaft yesterday? Oh, nope, he's just a worker. So, I mean, I'm left with no choice in here. I'm gonna go over here, and it's either gonna not let me, or they're gonna shoot me in the face. I just wanna find the next thing. What's the next thing to do? No reason to go any further. Okay. We already stole the copper, like, from over here. I can't believe it, we got a break. And I already stole their copper, so these guys are dead. Hey, Black Bullet Studio, thank you. Yeah, if, uh, I spoke to a guard at the beginning and he said, hey, and then he just shot me in the face. And it wasn't a big deal at the point, at that time. Hey, we found a red potion, we found another thing. Uh, but it, it did set me back five minutes of text dialogue that I had to redo, which is like, you know, it wasn't that big a deal, but I was like, okay, now I know to not talk to the guards um, unless, I have no choice. I 
I think there's a bug. I think it's I think it's just a bug. I think right now we were supposed to like since or or I'm missing three iron. I've checked everywhere. I'm sure there's still something I'm missing. So alcohol takes your hit points. What's the point of using it? Let's just drink an alcohol because I'm, I. There we go. Yeah, boy, drink that alcohol and it didn't do anything. Okay, so let's just use a potion. Like this doesn't do anything. We're so, let's get paid, right? We're supposed to get paid to leave and then turn into the scrap. Did you not have to trade the scrap to Justin, I do have to trade the scrap to someone. There is a girl in this next map, right outside of this, right outside of the cave, there's a girl who's looking for three scrap, but I can't leave. You get the scrap in here, and once you come in here, you can't leave until you, I guess, do something else. So the three scrap, you can't trade it yet, because you can't get to the girl who was asking for the three scrap. I don't even know what she's supposed to give you, but... I can't get out to trade it to her, so I don't know what to do. So I'm going back and forth. Up, I mean, like I said, up until this cave, uh, it's been very cool. I mean, the game has been... Um, I mean, it's very much like you're reading a lot of story, and it's not much of a game. It's more of a, an adventure. It's more of a an experience, but, you know, if you, you can get the same thing if you just read Orson Welles' novel or something, or, or read any dystopian future novel, it's a similar thing. I don't see what I'm supposed to do, really. Spinning my wheels here. We just keep talking. This is the same thing. I read everything, unless I read everything out loud. Unless I'd, I've just read it, or I, I, I died and had to reread it. Like at that point, I skipped through it. But I've always read everything, and all my first impressions. I prefer to read everything because it's it's hard enough to know what you have to do, even when you're reading everything. For me, especially while like doing other stuff, but like live streaming, but. I'll skip past the text if I've already read Hey, we got a fourth scrap metal. I mean, obviously there's stuff that I'm missing, right? Because I'm, I'm still finding things. But it's not immediately obvious. Or there's only a few spots where it's got a sparkle. I would recommend just putting a sparkle everywhere there's something. And, and it's not like you have to have the sparkle on at all times. Just have it... Um, do a little script call that, that says... Um, Roll a random number between 1 and 100, and if it's above 90, make it flash. So that means only 10% of the frames is the animation going to, to sparkle. That, that means it's not constantly sparkling, but if you wait around long enough, you'll see it sparkle. There needs to be some direction. I agree, Jacob. Yeah, let's, let's investigate this wall more. There's a draft here. I wasn't here yesterday. That's the same thing she says constantly. There's nothing to mine, and there's no way to interact with it. Is there... Maybe I'm missing something. Like, okay, what items do I have? Just potions and alcohol, and I've read both, and I've used both of them. And I have a watch that I can't use, and no weapons and no armor. So, there's... there's what do I do? You know, what, what do I do? Go in the door on the back wall. There's a door on the back wall. Hey, yo, Bob. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so, Bob, uh, yo, Bob, I'm, st I'm stuck right now. I got into the mine and check it. I found seven iron and I got three copper and I found four of the scrap. Um, but I can't turn in the scrap because it won't let me, it won't let me leave the cave. And it tells me that I have to go to the station. Um, but first off, my wife said, uh, go to the door on the back wall. There's there's no door there, honey. And I've gone over here. But uh, yo, Bob, uh, let me go. I think there might, there may be a bug. If that if there is a bug here, that, it, that would explain it. Because it seems like it's kind of clear 
what you're supposed to do up until this point. Uh, you go in here, because like, if you try to leave, it tells me, yeah, I finished my quota, there's a collection station where I get paid. And th this is the collection station, right? And I try to interact on this spot, I try to interact right here, I try to interact right here. And then I've, I've gone in here five times now, and they, they kind of just say the same stuff. Talk to that miner. Talk to that miner. This guy? He, he cries. This guy? Shaft's down. Is this part of the plan? I'm begging you, leave me alone. I, I thought I've talked to everybody. Let's talk to this guy again. I'll fight for you now. Yeah, that is a bug, but you need to steal. Talk to the miner who is mining animation. Okay, okay. I've stole from everybody. I mean, originally I didn't. Steal. Uh, down, up, left. What happens if you fail that? Is it instant game over? Okay, so now I have eight of the ten. Hey, Rick Fox, how you doing? Perhaps you should look where you haven't. Yep. I've, I believe I looked everywhere, but uh, I mean, obviously I'm missing something. But um, the dev did just say, it, it, there is a bug, it is a bug. And that explains it, because it's been actually fun up until the point of the bug where I haven't been able to proceed. Yeah, I don't like the the default uh, icons. Like the whole style, this entire default icon style, I actually just don't like. But I, I mean, whatever. I said that at the beginning. Um, the video should be uh, rewatchable, so hopefully you could you could watch it back. And as long as there's no copyrighted music, the live chat should still be there for everybody's feedback and whatnot. Um, you have to steal in this section. So I've I've investigated almost everything. I'm sure I've missed some stuff, and that's why I'm being halted. It is are there ten things, ten pieces of iron? It's very confusing um, at this point. So I've, I've okay. Wait, this is new. This is new. Ah, uh, oh, damn wires. Ask about the shaft. Were you the were you the one that did something to the shaft? What? No. What happened to it? The shaft is broken. The lever's been broken off. What are you talking about? There shouldn't be a broken anything. I repaired that yesterday. Yeah. Find someone else to fix it if you want to go down. I need to make my rounds. You have to thieves more. More thievery! So there is ten iron, and I'm missing two of them. Ask about Anthony. I'm looking for a friend. Has anyone with a scar passed by here? Scar? No. Good luck finding your friend. One, two, three. So, we're forced to steal from every person. Um, and investigate all of the locations with sparkles and find all the things that have no sparkles on them. I mean, what's the point, really, of putting uh, a sparkle animation at, at a place if if that's like I, it would seem to me that if you're going to use a sparkle animation to to annotate where there's an interactable object or thing that you can collect wouldn't you put that on all of the things why on some but not all others talk to the guy that's mining he hasn't noticed me I already stole it Yo, Bob, I've, I've walked back and forth in here for like 20 minutes now. What's that noise? Maybe it's my imagination. I, look, it's stripped clean. There's nothing. I haven't found a single thing in a while.
<laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum. As far as I know, I've, I've stolen from everybody in this game. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Some of them were copper. Like, I did manage to find three copper, yo, Bob. So, like, if... If if three, if three two of these were supposed to be iron, that would explain it. Could that be a bug? That miner with the animation on the map. Talk to him and steal from him. I already have... Okay, look, he's, he's right here, right? This is the only guy. He hasn't noticed me. He hasn't noticed me. He hasn't noticed me. He hasn't noticed me. Um, another worker is mine this clean. He hasn't noticed me. I already did. I, I did. I stole it. It's driving me crazy. I already did. That's a secret item. But how many times do I have to senpai this guy? I don't think this is the... No, this isn't it. Yeah, definitely, honey. These these sections have to be like... Uh, usually you want to assume your player is not a complete idiot, but my wife will tell you that you have to assume the player is a complete idiot and, and like you kind of have to drip feed them everything in order for them to like progress without hitting you know frustrating points because ultimately you have to decide is the game fun and right now it's not though unfortunately it is fun at the beginning and the storyline is great uh, and I love the art style and the sprites and obviously there are some things done right but this section is done wrong I stole from everybody in here. I think there's uh, just some bugs. There's a bug, probably. Okay, one guy. Here we go. Oh, right, left, right. Another iron. Okay, so we're at nine, ladies and gents. Maybe there's another one, you know? Maybe this just... I'm thinking that one of the, one of the irons was supposed to be... One of the coppers supposed to be iron, or... Wait, is it this guy? Steel. Okay, I got it, guys. It's it's not a bug. It, this is this is intended. This is how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to go around and steal from everybody until you hit ten. I got it. But but you see how long it took me? It took me half an hour to do this. And then this guy's gone. Right. So now we can progress. But that was frustrating. Miner number four thirty four Aradeos. There's the 10 iron, my quota. Your quota's been met, plus seven kel. But we also have to pay 10. Dad's watch, 809. Anthony should be back home by now. Maybe I missed him during work. There's still that late fee I have to pay. Four iron, your quota was five. No, no, I have five. One, two, three, four. Four, put the money on the table. Why are you still here? It's brutal. Now we can leave? He's still there. Who's still there? What does that mean? Where? This guy, right? Why didn't anybody take him? Oh, he died, even though we gave him a potion. <sighs> okay, so this is another guy. Ariados, what are you still doing here? Finishing up my work. 
Don't stay here too long. I've been hearing noises lately, but nothing too serious. Probably rats scurrying around. Yeah. Oh, if you're looking for Valentina, she left the mines a while ago. Probably went back to her home. Thanks. I'll die for you. You know that, right? You saved my life. I'll repay that. You're her right man. Right hand man. I gotta go. Okay, now we have some Tarax lighting going on. Let's throw this body down here. Maybe this time we'll get a listen. Do you think I'm doing the right thing, Eliana? Who's... I've changed so much. Say, Veroclaw, you're right, you're right. Let me do that first. Gosh. That was such a long segment. If I were to get shot in the face by a guard right now, I would just rage quit. I'm going to tell you the truth. Look, 17 minutes to 59 minutes. That section, which probably should have took 10 minutes, took me like 40 minutes. I don't know what to do. Miner number 869, Hansen, you're paid. Miner number, Aradeo's 434. You have a payment fee of 10 kel. I don't have it. Whatever you have, throw it on the table. Minus seven, minus two rip potions, minus four scrap metal, minus one alcohol. What, everything? Why are you still here? Get lost. You gotta be kidding me, man. Are you, what? No, 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 no. I'm loading. Where's that little, I mean, I imagine the lady would leave at night, right? So we have to wait till tomorrow for her to be there to trade the scrap? But she wasn't there. What does that sound? What was that? I saw something red. I feel like my uh, epo my light radius should be bigger. I think the player's light radius should be the, the same light radius as this lamp. I mean, that's not that's it's still very dark if you gave the player that huge light radius, right? Like this light radius, I don't like. I've never been a fan of just completely dark screens. Unless it's for like a brief moment, like just for a few, a second. Let's listen, going to scavenge mom. You do that. Cynthia, I miss dad. Well, dad's dead. Oh gosh, let me knock. Hello? Uh, Aradios, come in, come in. Cynthia, you and your brother go outside. But it's dark outside, go! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Aradios. You need a place to stay, right? That's why you came to me? No, something knocked over your bottles just a moment ago. Were your kids just coming inside? N no, they've been here for a while. I did hear something when I walked by. Why do you ask? A past feeling, it's nothing. Uh, okay, just take your time. So what I don't understand is people around here, like, treat the lead character as if he has some sort of rank or role. Yet... To the guards, he's just a regular scum miner. But you can't be our new dad. <laughs> My mom likes you. Convince her not to. I don't think I can. She never listens to me. She'll get the message. She's not normal. That's normal. Get out more and you'll learn that there's, there are no normal people. I'm glad that we're friends. Um, it says, you expect me to believe a normal miner would have a light source with the luminosity of a street lamp? No, I'm expecting a street lamp to be a lot brighter than that. Obviously, the street lamp should be brighter too. I'm saying the player should have the luminosity 
enough so that the player can see the screen. I mean, a miner would have like a- wait, what's happening? Some of my friends have gone missing. Listen. Mason, I don't know if you're still reading my letters, but I think this is the last one I'll write. I hear conversations about who went missing. It's weird. It started yesterday. So wait, this is Mason talking about Mason. Is he reading a letter to him from his friends? Everyone is dead. I know it. My friends who took the shaft on guard duty. Even my old friends before I became a guard. It's hard to look at them anymore, but this is how I make a living. The station where I'm at tells us there are no survivors. None of the guards are responding to our communications. That just tells me that my old friends killed my new ones. Chris, I think I'm changing. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Wait, like, what's happening? Like, is he reading a letter? It's kind of, it's kind of con con convoluted right here. I want to go back home. I, I don't understand that conversation I just had right there with that guy. That could be cleaned up, I'm sure. And I was expecting to hear ripping sounds after throwing the bodies down. That's like a missed opportunity because the lady, the girl, she talks about ghosts and stuff and it was kind of spooks. Uh, but then, and you throw a body down because she's like, when you throw a body down, you can hear scratching sounds, but then it stops as if there's like things ravaging and eating the, the bodies, which would make sense. Uh, but there's no like sounds that I noticed both times I've thrown a body down. So I mean, that's kind of like I'm missing out on something. Oh, hell no, we're not going to go back in there. Like, is that supposed to happen? Like, you're not supposed to be able to get enough money, like, to meet your quota thing, so they just take every item that you found? That's frustrating. That's not fun. So we have five scrap metal now. But that lady's not here. It's nighttime. But anyway, let's go in here. It's locked, okay. You can get enough to make the tent? Okay. I just haven't found, I think, I'm missing three. Oh, maybe it's from the, uh, at the beginning. Do I have to? You can get enough money to, to make 10 and you won't lose everything. Do, but Yo Bob, did I have to have stolen for the money at the beginning? But because you didn't search the 10 kill in the beginning of the game, Oh, that's frustrating, and frankly, I think it's stupid, yo, Bob. Like, at this point, I'm just screwed because I didn't do it. You didn't have to steal? I just missed something early on, so therefore, anything I get after that point, I have to relinquish? That's not fair to the player. And I'm also lost right here. What am I supposed to do at this point? Like, just like one confusing section after one confusing section. I don't know what to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. There's no direction. There's no pointers. There's not really much of a hint. The storyline is very vague. The guards shoot you in the face. This game pisses me off, yo, Bob. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't like your game. Like, I, I, I appreciate the artwork. I think the sprites are really good. And the storyline is pretty deep and, like, it's powerful storyline, but it's, I don't know, maybe you should have made a visual novel. That's all I'm saying. I feel like all this walking around was a waste of time. Yeah, I think visual visual cues would, would go a long way. And and that's the thing, um, you can actually add that. That's not like it's not a, a total disaster. You can you can make this game really good. Because it has a good baseline with this with this artwork and the setting and the storyline. It just needs to be a more fun game. It's not a fun game right now. It's just a interesting storyline with good uh, art direction. Uh, obviously, um, 
I'm gonna like any any RPG Maker game that doesn't use any RPG Maker stuff. But you still did. You still did. You're using uh, these are like RPG Maker MV stuff right here. You can swap those out easy though. That's easy. You don't have enough items to wear it. It's gonna be a big amount of work. Put in a new icon set PNG in your IMG system folder and go through your items database and pick new icons for them. Boom. So that's an easy fix. Add pointers, add some direction. You know, there's the potential for this game to be fun, but it's, I don't feel it is right now. I'm lost. I don't even know what to do. What time is it? Anyway, I, that's where I'm going to end my first impression. I feel like we've got a lot of good feedback on this game. Um, interesting setting. Uh, I like the art style. Like I said, I'm not going, wow, these sprites are amazing, but I like them. Uh, I've always been a fan of tall sprites. Um... Pay that fee. I have to do it though? Jeez. I don't want to lose everything I just ran around the dungeon getting. Oh, it's so frustrating that the thing that I have to do to proceed is lose every item because I didn't pick something up in the very beginning of the game. And I, and I was not allowed to go back and get that after I entered the mine. You know, that's... I feel like as a player I'm getting chipped. The, the player is getting gypped right here. Everything is gone. It's all gone. Doesn't matter that you did extra exploration. It's this is a punishing game. This is a punishing and cruel game. Graceless, I disagree with you. Games are supposed to be fun. You know what? I, I'm in the middle. Games don't have to be fun, but they have to be compelling. If they're not fun, they need to be compelling. And there's nothing compelling about um, working for things and then just having them all taken from you. Um, unfairly so, I feel. Um, not like they would really change the game. It's just a matter of like how it works. And then like, uh, maps that have lots of darkness, you can't really see them very well, um, being forced to find everything on a map just to turn it in, like, I don't, I feel like there's potential, but the game is just pissing me off, and it'll probably piss off a lot of people. You know, that being said, I think the story is good, and the sprites are good. So I, I paid the fee, do I do, I don't even know what else to do. That's it, that's my first impression. I think I gave a lot of good feedback. Um, hopefully you use it and realize that I'm not trying to like say your game sucks because but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it needs, uh, it needs more direction and it, it needs more like directing the player, letting the player know where to go, uh, less trolling uh, as for like taking all of the items um, eliminate the points where you have to backtrack so much. Um, make it more obvious when you have to do fetch quests where you have to go to get things. Walking in the mines for 45 minutes or 40 minutes was, was painful. It was absolutely painful. This guy, is this where we're supposed to go? We've already listened to him, so there's nothing there. Go home and sleep. I can't even remember... So let's go. I mean, is it is it critically important to trap the player in the mines uh, once they enter the mines? If it's not, you should let them come back out to, to pick up the stuff that they may have missed. Like you said, there's 10 kel somewhere that you can pick up in one of these houses. And, and I started checking them all, and I was going to check them all. But then when I checked half of them, and then I got shot in the face and gamed over, I had no incentive to want to go and check all of them again. Maybe if you allowed to save anywhere, that would uh, that would up it so that I would want to... I could get... When I get an item, I save it. Let's 
See, I got this cutscene the first time, but then I got shot in the face, and I didn't feel like coming back in here. I, I did read it the first time. I did. I read everything. A bloodied letter. I can't read what's written on here. It's soaked in blood. Something happened to him. Valentina should know about this. Did I mess something up? Uh, like, you shouldn't allow the player to mess it. I don't think that's uh, uh, the case. Not yet. Valentina needs to know. So we have to come back here, get the bloody letter. And how come all of the people are gone? Why do they just disappear at night? Wouldn't they be in their house at night? Aridaeus, you surprised me. I'm just finishing something up. Yo, Bob, you're gonna go far, because I kind of, I was pretty brutal. Like, I was honest with you. Uh, and, and I told you what I felt and then you're telling me thank you and and I just got to say that your game is going to be very fun one of these days It's going to be good because of your attitude. I believe that you will make it a very very good game. Oh My god, I figured you'd have a better idea on how to find him since you pulled off an interesting stunt stunt. What are you talking about? There's a missing lever for the shaft everyone thinks this is part of your plan what? There's no missing lever for the shaft. I just used it yesterday. It's missing now. Where did you hear this? I eavesdropped on a general that was inspecting the shaft. Giggity. I figured you were the ones who did it. No, I never did that. Then who did? I don't know. But this isn't a good feeling. I'll find out what's happening. And I'll keep you informed. And Anthony? You should give up in searching for him and join me in the revolt. No. Ariado, sweet. I don't understand you. You'll forsake everyone, but you're willing to save a friend? Why? He's not my friend. He's my brother. And it was to hide it from you. Why tell me now? Because now I know you'll be looking for him. Did he show the letter, though? There could have been more of you. The city won't be your grave. I won't let it happen. Anyway, that's where we're going to end the first impression. Uh, this game's got a lot of potential. The storyline is very well written. Um, the sprites and art style is, is a good direction. I like that. Um, I feel like the game needs, unfortunately, you know, I have to say, the game needs more hand-holding. I don't know where to, to go at, at all times. And even most of the time, I'm just guessing what, what I have to do. Um, the part where you have to collect things... Um, I don't know, minimize that a bit, or put sparkles, bring more attention to what the where you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do, and I, I don't know, I feel like maybe you shouldn't be forced to steal from everybody, or maybe if you want to keep that, you can maybe to illustrate what you have to do to survive in this game. I'm not going to tell you how to, um, how to make your game. I'm only going to give you suggestions. Some people will have a moral problem with, with. A lot of this game but in fact this game is probably not for everybody it's for your your niche audience so make the game how you want it take everything I say with a grain of salt and uh, listen to lots of people not just me as uh, how to take the game and uh, I, I believe that with the positive attitude um, if you're able to take a lot of people's criticism and 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 not die on an anthill you know uh, say this is the way it's gotta be and no compromise um, because even I have to compromise on a lot of the ideas I have in my games. Uh, I think it's for the better. I know my wife tells me things all the time about some of my designs uh, where I don't like to hear it at first, and, but I'm always happy that she's willing to tell me the honest truth uh, because I feel it makes my, my games better in the long run. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the chains that bound me, the early first impressions on it. I have a link in the description to the itch.io page. Check that out. On that page, you can see the devs' Twitter. It is a Kickstarter game, just got launched on Kickstarter. It has a Discord. All of the links are in the itch page, so go check out the itch page, give it a view, and uh, if you want to play it and maybe get farther than I did, uh, give it a download and do all the things that you want to do. Thank you guys so much for coming to the live stream today. Thank you to my ISP for not kicking me 100 times. Thank you, Spectrum. Um, 
yeah, if you'd like to support what I do, I have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash driftwithgaming. Link should be in the, des the description below. I also have a link to the Discord where we talk and we hang out daily. So come hang out on the Discord if you want to chit-chat with us and promote your stuff there. There's a self-promo tab right there. Yeah, if you would like me to play your game, I play... Uh, I offer that as a Patreon reward tier, so 20 bucks a month, I will play your game once a month as requested. Um, I also will do it for $25 over PayPal if you don't like the whole Patreon thing, but um, I prefer Patreon. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for coming to the live stream. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content and you want to see more like it, you can subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It has been fun, it has been real, and we'll see you guys. Thank you so much, Heartless Angel, for stopping by. Video Wizard, appreciate it. I'm going to read some comments uh, and say goodbye before I close the stream. Epic Mighty in a Cloud, Video Wizard. Uh, Yo, Bob, thank you so much for supporting this video and what I do on this channel, and good luck on the game in the future. Good luck on your Kickstarter. Um, Graceless Gaming, thank you so much for sharing your opinion. I always like to hear all sides of the story and all sides of, uh, of opinions, different opinions. Ahmed Falahi, thank you so much for coming. Vero Claw, you were here early. Thanks so much for, for sticking around, my dude. Um, Dr. Vile, thank you so much for, for stopping by. Uh, Jacob Mann, always a pleasure, my dude. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Justin Smith, thank you so much. Sparrow, 9612. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, anybody I missed, it's still going. Uh, anybody I missed, thank you so much for coming. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Lucas Pistori. Wario Gold Pyramid. Rick Fox. You are bad. Black Bullet Studios.